Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority and today I'd like to talk to you about the Nordic Thingy 52. Now the Nordic Thingy 52 is an IoT sensor platform that's got built-in Bluetooth low energy and because of that it can talk to devices like your smartphone or to a Raspberry Pi and it's absolutely brilliant for experimenting and for prototyping and just generally playing around with any IoT projects you have or any IOD, IoT ideas. So if you'd like to find out more about the Thingy 52, please let me explain. So as you can see, the Nordic Thingy 52 is a 6x6 rubber square, it's a couple of centimetres thick, and it's got built into it a whole bunch of sensors, including a pressure sensor, temperature sensor, CO2 sensor, it's got a nine-way axis motion detector, it's got LEDs, of course it's got Bluetooth low energy, and at the heart of it is an ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller. Now the idea is basically this, you want to measure something with sensors, whether it be temperature or pressure or the motion for, let's say, making a fitness tracker, and that information is relayed over Bluetooth Low Energy to a smartphone or to a Raspberry Pi. Now Nordic give you all the source code for the Thingy 52 itself and for an Android app and for an iOS app. So basically you have all the building blocks that you need to take a device like the Thingy 52 and talk to it onto your smartphone and develop any kind of IoT project that you like. Now getting started with the Thingy 52 is really easy. You basically switch it on, you have to take the rubber cover off, there's a switch there, you switch it on, you then go to download the uh, sample app from the Play Store, you search for the device using Bluetooth and then the two are then connected together. And then the internal app, the sample app they've given you, allows you to monitor the different sensors. So you can monitor the temperature and the pressure. There's even a button on it you can press, you can see if the button's pressed or not. You can see all of the different things with the motion, uh, the nine axis motion, it's got compass, it's got heading settings. You can also play around with the LED to turn up different colors and it's all there for you in the source code. So if you have any kind of Android app development experience you could very easily take the app and develop it into your own app to do your own kind of thing with it. Now one other interesting aspect of this uh, Nordic to do is it has a built-in microphone and speaker and Nordic give an example of how you can actually do audio over Bluetooth low energy between the smartphone app and the Thingy 52. So in one case, you can record something on your phone and it will get played through the speaker on here, or you can speak into the Nordic 52 and it will get received uh, on your smartphone. And so the possibilities for that are also with home automation are great. You could actually connect this up in such a way that you speak into this. This could be somewhere on your person, on a wall. You speak into it and then it talks to maybe one of the the digital voice assistants like you know Google Assistant because its API is available for Android and for of course for the Raspberry Pi so that it shows you the possibilities of, of low energy a Bluetooth low energy audio but it also shows you what you could do with it now as a caveat it's worth mentioning that the quality of the Bluetooth low energy is quite low because none of its compressed it's all PCM stuff eight eight kilohertz which is very very low but good enough as a demonstration and the reason for that is is I don't want to put any coding and decoding like of a codec like mp3 or aacc or whatever uh, into the the little microprocessor on here but of course it can be modified to do it however you see best Now a real power of this kind of IoT setup is when we involve the internet of things, when we involve the cloud itself. So you could, for example, connect up the app and there's already, that, the hooks are already there to connect up the app to uh, IFTTT, uh, if this then that. So basically you can basically set up a situation where if you press the button, the Nordic thingy will talk to your smartphone over Bluetooth low energy, your smartphone will then contact IFTTT, tell it something's happened, and then you can build an applet to, to action that. So a simple example, you press the button, it goes to the smartphone, the smartphone talks to the cloud, IFTTT then sends a notification to your phone. Very simple, but you could do it better. You could check, do things so that when a temperature gets to a certain level, 
then you tell your Nest thermostat to do something or when it gets a certain time of day you can do something with your Philips Hue light bulbs or any fact anything that can be connected to the if this then that service can be controlled according to what the sensors are picking up on your uh, Thingy 52. Now if you want to for example get connected up to the if this then that service I've got full instructions over uh, at the article that goes with this video it includes to tell you what the event names are when different things happen on the thingy 52 so go and read that article and you'll get yourself connected up really simply. Now one more thing I'd like to mention about the Nordic 52 is it has the infrastructure for over the air firmware updates already built into the system. So that means that if you want to update the software on your Thingy 52, the Android app can do that for you automatically. In fact, things on my, my Fitbit, I'm always getting updates for this. Imagine if you've got other IoT equipment and also the security concerns we have today with IoT, it's important that you're able to update the firmware on your IoT products and that's already built in here. So you just have to make a new firmware available and the app knows how to upload it to the Thingy 52 over Bluetooth. So all that hard work for updates and for, for deployment cycles and for all this stuff concerned about security for IoT, it's already built in there for you. So again, they've done all the heavy lifting. So to summarize, basically this is a great toy to play with if you're kind of a tech enthusiast. If you like the idea of playing with if this then that and having sensor data and maybe you like to record it, maybe you like to analyze it, then this is just it's good fun and it's a good way to kind of understand Bluetooth low energy and understand IoT. That's great. But if you're a developer, if you have any kind of Android development experience, then this is an absolutely brilliant because you don't have to modify the code on here because all of the services, all of those sensor data is available just through the Android app and you just need to modify the Android app to do whatever you want to do. So if you want to make the next Fitbit rival using the motion sensors that are inside this, then go ahead and do it. Just get one of these, start modifying the app and just go for it. Now, the other thing is if you actually are a professional developer, then the great thing is all the source code is available, the bill of materials is available, the schematics are available, so you can actually build consumer level products with everything that Nordic give you here. And why are they doing this? Because Nordic want to sell their Bluetooth low energy chips and the microcontroller chip that's in there. They want to sell that so that you can then sell millions of them in your greatest IoT product that comes out next. Well, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority and I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Nordic Thingy 52. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter. And last but not least, please go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android. <laughs>